Supposing Silver Blades broke away. I mean, where would he have gone? If he'd run loose on the moor, he'd have surely been seen by now. Perhaps the gypsy theory is correct. No, 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 no. A horse is a most gregarious creature. Now, he did not go back to King's Pyland, to his own stable, so he must have gone to Mapleton. Now, let us use that as a working hypothesis. The ground around here is very hard and dry, but over there, in that hollow, it must have been very wet on Monday night. If our supposition is correct, he must have crossed it. You see, the value of imagination is the one quality which Inspector Gregory lacks. We imagined what might have happened, acted upon the supposition, and find ourselves justified. Let us proceed. Ah. Round here. Haven't you got eyes in your head? I only wanted to ask you a question. Should I be too early to see Mr. Silas Brown if I was to call around here at 5.30 tomorrow morning? I shouldn't be speaking to you by rights. Mr. Brown's the early bird round here, all right. Darson, what are you doing gossiping with strangers? Be about your business. Now, what the devil do you two want round here? Just a few minutes of your time, Mr. Brown. Be off with you, or you'll find the dog on your heels. Why should I talk every gad about stranger on the moor? It may save you instant dismissal from Lord Backwater's service and a stiffish prison sentence. Early Tuesday morning. You were about the yard as usual. When you saw a horse on the moor. When you approached it, you realized that it wasn't a strange horse at all, but one that you knew very well. Your first instinct was to lead Silver, B Silver Blaze back to King's Pyland, but then the devil put other ideas into your head. There's a chance to make a great deal of money. It occurred to you that if you were to hide the hawk... You've been watching me, haven't you? You've been spying on me, sir. So, I do what 
you want. If it's money you want, you shall have it. You will do exactly as I tell you. A more perfect compound of the bully, coward and sneak than Master Silas Brown I've seldom met with. He has the horse then? Of course. But his stables have been searched. An old faker like him knows many a dodge. Watson, I don't know whether you observed, but Colonel Ross's manner to me has been somewhat cavalier. I'm inclined to have a little amusement at his expense. Say nothing to him about the horse. I shall say nothing without your permission. Splendid. We have found traces which show that a party of gypsies encamped on Monday night within a mile of where the murder took place. Fitzroy Simpson may well have an understanding with them over hiding the horse. Nevertheless, I, I think I owe it to the public uh, to remove uh, Silver Blaze's name for the entrance for the cup. No, certainly not. Colonel, I should let the name stand. But I've already withdrawn by out. But I have every hope that Silver Blaze will start on Saturday. Have your jockey in readiness. I'm very glad to have your opinion, sir. That is a minor point, of course, compared with the question of who killed John Straker. Doubtless you will be devoting yourself to that problem. On the contrary, Dr. Watson and I are taking the night express to London. We've had the most charming little breath of your country air. <laughs> so you've despaired already of arresting the murderer of poor John Straker? There are certain grave difficulties. Do you have a photograph of Straker? Thank you, Inspector. I am quite ready now for Tavistock. Linger. Well, I, must, I must say I'm rather disappointed in our London consultant. I don't see that we're any further than when he came. Well, at least you have his assurance, Colonel, that your horse will run. Oh, yes, I have his assurance. I should prefer to have the horse. I think you should heed Mr. Holmes' advice, Colonel. Well, I shall have a seat. Excuse me, who, who looks after these sheep? I do, sir. Have you noticed something amiss of late? Oh, sir. Well, it's not of much account, but three of them have gone lame. A long shot, Watson. A very long shot. After you. Inspector, I'd like to recommend to you the singular epidemic among the sheep. You rarely consider that to be important. Exceedingly so. <laughs> All right, Baines. 